Alright, good morning, um, Malaysia time. We're here in Kuala Lumpur, and I'm going to take a flight up to, I think it's Ta'anang, or is it Ta'anang in Vietnam, in the Flight Factor 777-200LR. So I haven't quite retired it yet. I was asked to do this cold and dark, so I'm going to do it. I've got the ground power on, I've got the ground handling trucks up, and um, the Flight Factor default trucks as well. Now on this plane, it's an older model, so there are some things that have to be addressed. Namely, see this fuel truck here, and those stairs there, which you bring in from up here. They kind of have to be in place, so you can even load the passengers. And the fuel truck obviously has to be in place so you can load the fuel. When you open your doors, this is very important, make sure they're on manual. If your doors are on automatic, you try to open the door. These chutes will deploy, and we don't want that. So this is this is the original X-Plane add-on from back in X-Plane 10, you know, when this was the first super detailed add-on that was for X-Plane that I know of. So this is the one that started the whole thing. This is Flight Factor's first add-on back when they were Ramses. And the thing I don't like is the front doors here don't open, neither do the cargo doors. But if you're like me and you're not super rich, when you're boarding a 777, you're boarding from here anyways. So for me, it's actually kind of realistic. I've got this door open here. Fill bin is open, uh, whited out is closed. So let's jump inside. Alrighty. So this, if you go up here and hit this, check this quick zoom, you see you get that um, magnifying glass there. Click it, go up here. And I'll show you what I did already. So I've got these electric hydraulics are already on and I turn on the ground power here. Where is it? Battery I turn on first. So you gotta turn the battery first on first and turn on the ground powers. And the bus ties. And you'll go ahead and get all these up. So I got the generators on too. And I need to hit the ADIRU, which is the IRS. Bam, that'll start aligning for me. Window heat I'll leave off for now. Auto start needs to go to normal. Cover those and hit on here. Now I switch this to auto. See, in the later flight factor planes, we'd have a ground air conditioning system. Here we don't have that. I'm not turning on the APU yet, so let's go ahead and do these. No, nothing is ready yet. And isolations are on auto anyway, so you don't have to actually do the isolation valves. Pressurization, good. These fuel pumps can stay off for now. I turned up the master cabin light. You see, you can turn this up from the master cabin light. And that handles the lights in the back of your plane. See, you turn up the master cabin, that goes up. You turn down the master cabin. Those lights get dark all the way off. Okay, it's still on now. It's because of the um, what I'm what am I talking about outside. See, now we've got the lights back. I'm gonna close that door. And go ahead and lock it. All right, so. Get off the Avatab, off the tablet, routes. Um, I think this is. I keep forgetting. I'm silly. What airport am I sitting at now? Kuala Lumpur. Whiskey Mike, Kilo Kilo. From Whiskey Mike, Kilo Kilo. One whiskey, please. Kilo. kilo. Hang on a second. Okay. The ICAO for the non code. Oops. Victor, Victor, Delta, November. 
Okay, I'm gonna put that in. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I got the flight plan in, as you can see here, just like in the other FMC. Let's go ahead and take this back to. I always start at ten. Take back to the map. Okay. See, there's a TF a terrain following radar here, which is good. And the ATIS on here. You tune your frequencies like normally, but to turn these radios on, you go off. Temperature two Then choose one of these. Altimeter two nine seven. This is on VHF left, so I go VHF left. You have to. So you have to actually click it to turn this on so you can hear it. So I'm going to set this to 350, my cruise altitude today. Zero fuel weight. This is actually pretty easy to calculate. Passengers, I go 250. I think that's kind of light for a 777 though. Cargo weight, I'm going to go extra 2,000 kilograms. And see, don't put any fuel yet. Zero fuel weight is right here. 174.0. Or 175.0. Round up to 175.0. CFW is right there. There you go. So. Kuala Lumpur INTL. Seven information Oscar. Oh, yes, you need the actual fuel calculations. APU time, I'm gonna go five minutes. Taxi time, I'm gonna go five minutes. Take off fuel and calculate it. We pull it from a website. Altimeter 2976. Arriving runways 33, 32 left. Departing runways 32 right. Three Hang three. on. Advise on initial contact, you have Oscar. Okay, hang on. Kuala Lumpur <laughs> INTL. Seven information Oscar. 2300 Zulu weather. Okay. Wind calm. Visibility 4. Sky conditions 800 view. In the real world, I think 777s are getting temperature two five, retired two because of four. there's new more fuel seven efficient six. planes out there like the 787, 8350. I'm glad I got a chance to fly on one before three two right. three three. before um, they got retired. So let's see, total fuel. I'm gonna just round up to 26,000 kilograms or go up to 27,000 kilograms just to make sure I have enough. Okay, there you go. And you hit low fuel, and it does this for you. Put the reserves in after that. So click here to pop this back in. This can't, this can't be popped in while it's loading. So let's step outside. As you can see now, the steps are... Frames. Advise on initial contact, you have Oscar. Steps are up to the door here. There must be an airplane that popped in somewhere near me. Kuala Lumpur mm. INTL. Seven information Oscar. Twenty three hundred Zulu weather. I don't see anything that popped in. Maybe it's just that area of the simulation. Twenty seven thousand kgs, you can watch it climbing here. Oh that's fast. Okay. Three two left. Departing runways three two right. Three three. Set up better pushback while it's flying at it. So we're gonna go push our tail to the left. Plug in. It's better pushback. Pre plan pushback. Go back and then Kuala Lumpur INTL. Seven information Oscar. Over like this. Round of cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. Cool. Altimeter two nine nine two. Arriving runways three 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 two left. Departing runways three two right three three. Advise on initial contact. You have Austin. This weather proper. There we go. Now it's better. Plane loaded. 
Now I can pop this back in. Set my altimeter. Temperature 25, 2.24. Altimeter 2976. Arriving runways 33, 32 left. Departing runways 32 right. Okay, so reserves always go 5.0. Not sure why I just do. Okay, there's this take off. Flaps 20. CG. We don't actually know. I put 26. information We don't really give us trim 6.00. Visibility four. So I'll pull my trim up. Temperature okay, there we go. Altimeter There we go. Let's pop that guy back in. Advise on initial contact you have popped. Flight director, arm. L nav, V nav, good to go. We'll turn that on when the time comes. We get these VOR switches to well VOR. Alrighty, so zero hundred Zulu weather. Let's go ahead and turn this frequency off. Get my nav radio set to something. Oh, it does it on its own, that's right. The VORs in here are set to auto. Alrighty, we can get ready to go. The plane is loaded, so I want to remove the fuel truck and the passenger stairs. Blue chalks while we're at it. Passenger bus and the stairs. Go ahead and shut that door. So now it's time. Go here, cross feed there, APU start, APU gen on, and APU start. Nav lights on, fasten seatbelt signs come on to on. Ready. Can I bring the any ISIS to auto? APU gen is on, so is the APU running? Yes, it is. Go ahead and remove the GPUs. Oh, by the way, when you're flying this plane, if you want failures, leave this on. You get like a very high failure rate when this is on. I want a normal flight, so I'm going to turn these off. Custom failures. I'm not sure how to do deal with those, like change the rate to where it's not something is guaranteed to fail every single flight that's that take a look outside right quick we got the AP running now it doesn't have the um, the heat this plane is getting kind of old I hope flight factor updates it flight factor please update it Keep it in my fleet if it gets updated. Control widget, drive away. Then those away. Once they go away, I'll throw on the beacon and get us out of here. I have Sam set to auto, so what's going to happen is the Jetways are going to leave as soon as I turn on my beacon. Doing way, I just hit better pushback and get out of here. Okay, catering trucks are backing away. The airplane ground equipment is almost clear. call that ground equipment clear it's passing under our wing but that's by the time we get our hydraulics on it'll be gone 
Go ahead and turn these on. Get the auto. We should have one of those should control brake pressure, should it not? In the 7478, that's what happened. You get one that controls brake pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and get these on. Wait for window heat until after the engine startup. Get all the fuel pumps on, passenger signs are on. All this is good. Check the over here. These are all engine stuff. And last things last, turn the door. Oh, shut this door. Right, doors are closed and locked. Force automatic. Beacon goes to on. Jetways are leaving. This is Sam, by the way, not Auto Gate. The Auto Gate jetways release when you release the parking brakes. Alright, we're ready to go to Vietnam. So let's push back. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Please connect. Maybe instead of getting an upgrade to the 777, you'll get a brand new 777X. Connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Parking brakes are released. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. All right, I'll get that done. So we start moving. And we're moving. So do this. Go up. Give it a couple seconds to get back. Switch that off. These will handle themselves. The packs. So, start with the right engine, go to start. Down here. Fifteen, and then, uh oh. Introduce fuel. Yeah, that was the wrong lever. Watch N1 come up. Oh, the cargo heat. Thank you for reminding me. That's way, 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 way back here. Cargo heat. message, not an intercept heading yet. Okay, I'll get the other engine once the pushback is stopped. Oh, 
auto brake to protect the takeoff. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Okay. All right. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Now I'll go ahead and start the other engine. Get this guy started. Hopefully I will hit the right lever this time. Disconnect the hand signals. Better push back. Okay, good. I thought my trim was wrong. Alright, that one's gonna come up. is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. See you next time and thank you. Okay. Those should... Shits. Okay, come back on shortly. There you go. Window heat on. Taxi light on. And there was a the signal. All right, flaps 20. Go outside, do our flight control check. Or we could just do it inside if you wanted to. Okay, there we go. I will see you guys on the runway. Alright, we're here on the runway. I'm gonna get ready to go. So, this is actually, I think before 100 knots, you're supposed to point the nose down keep traction on the front gear when you get 100 knots you can actually let up anyway I'm gonna go ahead and turn these lights on right turn off the left one strobes on turn the wing lights on because it is actually I turned the APU off I forgot to do that over at the over at the gate it's actually kind of foggy so I want to make sure we can be seen today so hit this to TARA WX system up here is actually here. I think it's always on. Traffic, TA only, WXR, WX plus T. That's what I want. Or just terrain, WX plus T. Nothing, WX plus T. Okay, we'll leave it there. Let's see if I can change it down here. I just want WX. Nope, still WX plus T. I guess that's automatic in this plane. Any help? That's that. I'm not using ATC because the X plane ATC isn't that good. Let me check to make sure. Okay, it's clear over here. Something landing on that side, so I'm gonna take off this way and caution the airplane landing on the other side. Right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, 
Alright. I'm just gonna throttle manually here. Now there's a toga hold. I'm gonna put some down pressure. Until 100 knots. Passing 100 knots. Base down pressure. V1 rotate. And we are airborne. I'm gonna catch up to the flight director. Positive rate. Gear comes up. And we're flying. Oh wow, the flight director says go down. I wanna make this turn. I'm not going to follow the flight director exactly because I don't want to start descending this low to the ground. And we're very clearly still speeding up. And the fog is gone. Yeah, just a foggy day down there. So we're getting close to... I'm going to go ahead and bring the flaps up to 15. We're in the flap schedule. We should actually be at 5. So let's go to 5. Start climbing a little higher. Until my overspeed comes... Okay, back at 1. Pull the flaps all the way up to 1. There you go. Flaps all the way up to up. Can't overspeed those flaps. That's bad. Climb rate's kind of high today for some reason, I feel. It's really rocketing out. Gonna be at 10,000 in no time. A little bit fast, over 250, I don't wanna be. Retarding the climb power. Uh, great to be back in this plane. Yeah, I gotta change the, um, go ahead and turn on the autopilot. Hit standard here. Alright, I'll catch you guys at cruise. Okay, here we are at 39,000 feet. I had to go ahead and step climb up to this altitude. Flying over, where exactly are we? Let me see. This is why I like the habitat, by the way. Aside from the route planner, just go in the maps. Do not to about maybe eight. Okay, so this is, I think, this is Vietnam. So it may be over Laos. It should be Laos, I think. Yeah. Oh no, it's still Malaysia. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is very much still Malaysia. Da, da Nang is here. So we'll be there in maybe a couple hours or so. Anyhow, we're on our way. So we're flying up here at 35,000 feet. And that's that. I'll catch you guys at um, Full Descent. See you then.
okay we're back and it is time for me to bring this airplane down so I'm gonna go ahead and set my new altitude what is the altitude in Tanaang so we're getting kind of close now Ooh, airport search Victor Victor Delta November the elevation is 33 so yes we can go all the way down to 2000 all right so there's that bring this up this away for now vertical navigation so page so go ahead and start descending now and turn the fasten seatbelt sign back on okay so first thing I'm gonna do is set the auto brakes to one how about two I'm not sure how long the runway is and get the ATIS and stuff ready get the tab back out there isn't an ATIS frequency Okay, so we'll just deal with it. Anyways, it's that. I will see you guys close to final. Ever so slightly. And okay, now we can get in properly. It's 3 5 left for landing on, right? Yes, B5 left. Uh oh, far. Okay. Why does B5 right have two different ILS signals on the map? Either way, this is the one we're looking for right here. 35 left. I mean, I could just sidestep on a 35 right. Okay. I do wonder though, this 777 is surprisingly easy to fly. Maybe the flight models have been updated in the newer flight factor airplanes, and making them a little harder to fly. Or I'm just used to heavies, could be either one. I did fly this plane like almost every day back in X Plane 10. I could just be used to it. Because we're off the localizer, yeah, I know. Oh, this is the proper runway. You're on 35 left. high actually I'm gonna sink this one might even open oh wow retard touchdown touchdown there we go. 
reverse. Reverse harder. Had to go into manual braking for that. All right, pull the reverses in. Pull the reverses in. And now let's get off. Get off the runway. There we go. Auto brakes off. That was floaty. All right, cool. Off the runway. Parking brakes. Okay, let's watch the replay. I know why it floated because the throttles came up on the auto throttle so let's start the APU isolations are auto so that's cool not to worry about that and this all and this all and these all beacon that taxi these come off what else Standby. Oh, this was unlocked, so it doesn't really matter now. Um, what else are we gonna do? Oh yeah. Yeah, that works, but don't make the way just to turn it off except going up here and just turning it off. Waypoints. Turning it to terrain. I just want it off. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, I'll see you at the gate.
Okay, we're at the gate. I forgot to commentate because I was too busy trying to get the plane stopped here. It does get interesting sometimes, so let's check up here. APU is everything good, generator on. I'm gonna go down here. Click on this. See? You can do electrical. You can go down to this bottom screen. Okay. So go back up to the top to make sure it's on. There you go. Everything's auto. So that's good. Stop wasting fuel and shut down. Now with Sam here, you have to turn off the beacon before the gateway the jetways come in. So you see the jetways are still not coming in. Okay, EGT is down, N1 is 1.4, 1.3. Go back to the engine one. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. So we just turn off the beacon. Taxi lights go off too. Here comes the jetways. Good for us. Since the belt's off. And do that with those. Alrighty, we are in. Welcome to Ta'ana Hunt. Okay, our fuel calculations, they were actually pretty good. Okay, jetways are in. A couple more things I want to turn off before I um, bring in the everything. Those off, we want these off just in case they come on. I'm going to turn off these hydraulics here, leave those on for the T-bar. Elevators in place. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. I'm not a real 777 pilot or a real pilot at all. Uh oh. No. Wrong button. I want to go to menu. Doors to manual. Remember, you want those to manual if you don't want your um, stuff to deploy. So there's that. Turn this back off for maybe another flight. Bring in the ground handling. Here, here. Okay. I call all three by accident. Yes, I did. That's fine. I'll just deal with it. You gotta open this door anyway. I'm gonna open this one too. You hit no fuel and the plane offloads itself. So now I can take the passenger bus and the stairs away. these. Our handling does that. And make way for that catering thing. This looks more like what it's supposed to. But hey. It's still a good plane. Alrighty, we are on the ground. Nice to bring a heavy back in. I haven't flown a heavy in a while in real time. You guys will see why later when my videos that I've been recording come out in a couple weeks. Alright, that's that. Thank you for watching. This has been the 777 from partially, mostly cold and dirt because I forgot the initial. All the way to Da Nang. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.